Hello, this is a tarot and oracle card reading for all signs. I'm going to use this angel's deck here. I just got done using it in two different readings. I'm going to use it again to figure out what this reading is going to be about. So keep in mind this is a general collective reading. This is not a personal reading, so you need to use your intuition to know if this is for you. Also, this reading is meant to be timeless. So that means it shouldn't matter when I create this reading. <laughs> what truly matters is when it showed up for you. That's when it was assigned for you. So let's find out what this reading is going to be about today. And what the first message will be. Okay, we have an opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal grow and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So sometimes forgiving other people, you know, maybe you're so angry, you just don't wanna forgive them. You're like, why should I forgive them? But sometimes it can help you because it creates a block for you creates wounds that are unhealed. So you actually heal wounds. You heal yourself when you forgive. So the divine is helping you or wanting to help you. And whatever situation you're going through is helping you and giving you an opportunity to, to face these wounds from the past and heal them so that you can grow, release these negative patterns so they can stop burdening you, stop wearing you down, stop blocking your blessings. So it says, hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. So forgive the person by seeing their light and goodness in them. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So by doing this, you're going to be lifting yourself to a higher place of peace and compassion. So who doesn't want to be in peace? Why do you want to hold on to these really, really negative feelings, right? And it's not, it's not good for you. So that's what this reading is going to be about today. Probably I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it's probably going to end up being like a love reading or something like that. Right. But let's see. Let's just use my regular duck here. My regular tarot. Deck. See if we get any love cards. But, you know, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be love. You could forgive, you need to forgive somebody else for another reason, but could even be blocking your money. That's what just came out. I just did a Taurus reading, my last from yesterday, Taurus and all signs, those were very much about somebody's sole purpose and money. Their abundance. So this is kind of like a walking away, but not in like a sad way per se. I mean, it could be, but it's like all the cups are filled here, but this person's going to walk away to go on a soul searching journey. So this is like you probably needing to go on this soul searching journey. There's a little moon there. So it does talk about how the path will be revealed to you or illuminated to you. Yeah, this also is somebody feeling left out in the cold. So maybe somebody had you feeling left out in the cold, maybe they walked away. Maybe they walked away, that's what it is. They walked away and had you feeling left out in the cold, they went to do like a soul searching journey. Or maybe you walked away from somebody else and to go do a soul searching journey and they felt left out in the cold. But because we have the forgiveness card, I feel like they walked away from you, left you feeling left out in the cold and you have to forgive them or you don't have to. Spirit is suggesting you forgive them for yourself, for your own peace. What is the spirits tell me more? We have Eight of Pentacles, which talks about like you working on something like your craft. 
So maybe somebody walked away, made you feel left out in the cold, so you kind of started to work on your craft or that's what you need to do, is focus on yourself, focus on your money, focus on your pentacles here. It is similar to, you know, the readings I have been doing have been like kind of cheering somebody on to try and work on their soul purpose. But also what we just got out in the Taurus reading was basically saying that that person has like a money block because of how they feel about themselves. So maybe this is you forgiving somebody. Um, could have been anybody in the past who made you feel less than. And that's why you have a money block. So this is you working on your self-esteem and that's gonna help your soul's purpose here. Somehow we have a tower moment coming in. We have a tower moment. So I don't know what that is about. So the tower moment is something that happens that's very shocking. It can feel like everything's just not going well. Like it's just everything's falling down around you. Like it's not working. But it's so that spirit can come in and remove things that don't serve you. So maybe this is you following your craft, following your soul's per passion, and you feel you feel like it's not working because that's been kind of coming out. You're having this tower moment where you feel like it's not going right. But remember, before you have before your manifestation comes in, sometimes you have to, spirit has to come in and clear things that don't serve you. But we have, you know, somebody walking, kind of walking away, going through a soul searching journey. Plus we have the you need to forgive. Okay, right. Okay. We're talking twin flames here, of course. So basically the last couple ones we we did were your career and your soul's purpose. So now we're talking about twin flames now. So I'm getting a little bit of correction from spirit probably. Now it could be, I think it does come together. I do think that the majority of these readings are for people that are twin flames, but also twin flames are earth angels. So they have a soul purpose so that it is you working on your soul's purpose and craft. But maybe this is also talking about like, okay, so somebody walked away and, and left you feeling left out in the cold or you might have walked away and made them feel left on the cold but i think it's they walked away from you just because we have telling you that this is an opportunity to forgive them so this has to do with your twin flame forgiving your twin flame and again it's not necessarily to bring them back or allow them to come back per se i mean it could be if that's what you want but the forgiveness is because it's blocking your blessing so Somebody walked away, had you feeling left out in the cold. By the way, it's a five, which suggests it will change. So maybe you started working on yourself. You started working on your soul's purpose. And maybe they saw, you know, you kind of going through this glow up and it gave them a tower moment. There's some kind of tower moment here involving your twin flame. So here we've got the feminine reaching out toward the masculine, but the masculine is not quite reaching back in this picture. And his environment is very chaotic. So this might be a tower moment for him. I think that's what this is. So I think it starts off with them suggesting you forgive this person, this twin flame, because they walked away and left you feeling left in the cold. So you started working on yourself, but Or they did something that made you feel the need now to forgive. So you walked away, left them out in the cold, started working on yourself. This created a tower moment for them. Either way, whatever. Okay, so we have eight of cups. So this is them coming in with their cup of love. But the difference between this knight of cups and typical knight of cups is that it's like he's dredging through this water. Water represents emotion. So this horse is very tired and he's he's trying to get through these emotions, but he's just very, the, the, the knight and the horse are very tired as they try to get through this water. And it's very kind of a dismal picture. It's kind of like, oh, starting to get dark or something. Now his wand, it's weird that he has a wand or something because whatever that is because this is a cups card but 
I don't know. It's just mostly he's just trying to dredge through these feelings. So maybe that's why he's not reaching back right now. His life is very chaotic. Maybe he's even kind of going through a bit of a dark night of the soul because of a tower moment. You leaving or you go going through a glow up created a tower moment for them. So I thought this was actually going to start talking about your soul's purpose because a lot of the readings lately have, but they're switching back to twin flame love. <laughs> they kind of go through these cycles where sometimes it's your soul's purpose. Sometimes it's your shadow work. Sometimes it's your, you know, twin flame love. So here we have, I don't know if this was past energy. It could be future energy, but there's like somebody trying to win at all costs. So this is like conflict, defeat. Somebody could be trying to steal somebody from somebody else. But it is a five, which suggests that the situation can change. So that's good. All right, since we know this is a twin flame situation, we'll take some twin flame decks here. So I don't know if this is you or them, but somebody just is lacking faith right now. So it's probably them because I feel like they're kind of going through a dark night of the soul because their environment in the one picture is very chaotic. Yeah, they're doubting things. How synchronistic is that? The doubt and faithless came out the same time. It's like they're doubting things. They're pitiful right now. They're empty. So yeah, they're, they're going through a kind of a dark night of the soul right now, or they will be. They're fixated on you. They might even be fixated on addictions. I think they're fixated on you. Um, They're fixated on you and we have repelled here. So I feel like their, their energy is actually starting to repel you. You're starting to come to surrender. And then we have projecting. So they're kind of projecting. Their feelings right now. And we have guarded here. They're very guarded. Butterfly does represent things going to be changing, though. So I definitely feel like whoever your twin flame is, is going through it right now. They're really trying to dredge through their emotions. They're kind of going through like a dark night of the soul. Maybe thinking about times that they did you wrong, tried to win at all costs there. Times that, I don't know, even if they tried to like steal you away from somebody else or something. And they're doubting things. They're doubt. They're, they don't have faith here. They're, they're pitiful. They're just pitiful right now. They're fixated on you. They're feeling empty. They're just really going through a really, really rough time right now. They really are. That's sad. That's sad. But you know, it's it's part of the twin flame journey, right? I guess. What else, spirits? What's going to happen in the future? And then we're going to get into six months to a year now. What's going to happen with regard to this situation? But I want to know, is there like a happy ending here? Is there a happy ending? <laughs> is this one of those twin flame couples that aren't going to end up together? What is this? What's going to happen? So the divine feminine will be setting boundaries or will need to. 
and I think that's, that is gonna make this person change. In the long run, we have King of Pentacles, successful enduring provider. So there will be, it will be stable, more stable in the future. But now we're gonna go into a bonus extended reading where we find out what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner. So like, is this stability? Is it gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner? Is this person gonna get out of their dark night of the soul? What the hell's going on here? Um, and like we might get some advice cards for you, what you need to be focusing on right now. I don't know, some charms, um, maybe some messages from your twin flame about what they're thinking or feeling now or in the near future. Those are always fun. We're gonna get that in the bonus extended reading. So if you want, if you think this is for you, first of all, let me know down in the comment section if this resonates with you, if you feel in your intuition, if you have an inner knowing that this is for you. And if you do want to learn more about this reading, go to the bonus extended reading. It's only $5.55 to sign up. And that's not just for this one reading. That actually gets you exclusive access to all of the readings, all of the bonus extended readings that I've done up until this point and all of the bonus extended readings that I do going forward for whatever time period that you pay for. So not expensive at all. Um, if you want to do that, go down below, click the link that takes you to my Patreon. You can sign up immediately and get immediate access to the rest of this reading to find out, you know, obviously we know what's going to happen, but is it going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner? And what else do you need to know that can help you with the situation, help you get through it? Or what uh, your curious mind needs to know? What does spirit think you need to know? Um, if you want a personal reading, you can get it on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. And smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and share this video. I will see you in the extended where we find out more juicy details about this reading.